Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux on VMware Workstation. So the first thing we need to do is get the Kali Linux ISO file. So you can get this from kali.org forward slash downloads and I'll pop this link below. In this tutorial I'm going to use the 32-bit Kali ISO which I've downloaded previously. So I'm just going to minimize this here. I want to go back into VMware Workstation and go File, New Virtual Machine. I'm going to leave this at typical. So I'll leave this at typical and I'll click next. I'm going to now click installer disk image file ISO and I'm going to browse to where I've downloaded that Kali Linux ISO. So I'm going to click on that and click open and then I'm going to click next. So I'm going to select that it's Linux and I'm just going to select that it's uh, other Linux going to select so I'm just going to select other Linux I'm just going to select 3.x kernel I want to click next here so I'll just call it Kali Linux and I'll click next again so I'm going to give it a drive of 30 gigs I'm going to leave the set to split virtual disk into multiple files and I'll click next I want to customize the hardware just before I finish it. So I'm going to give it two gigs of RAM. Depending on your laptop, you can get away with giving it one gig or maybe even 512 megs. If you have a more powerful laptop, you can give it more memory if you wish. I'm just going to up the processors to two and I'll leave the cores at one. And I'm going to leave the rest of these as are and click close. And then I'm going to click finish. Okay, so we can now see that it's appeared here for us in our list of VMs. So I'm now going to click power on this virtual machine. So we can see VMware is going to start booting up the VM first. Okay, so we can see Kali is booted up. So I'm going to click in, I'm going to come down and click install here. And we should begin to go through the install procedure. So what I'll do is I'll just pause the video while this is going through the boot up procedure. Okay, we're back here. So I'm going to select English as my language. I'm in Ireland, so I'm going to select Ireland. I am going to also use the Ireland keyboard. And it's going to run through some stuff here. So again, I'll pause the video while this is running through the bits and pieces. Okay, now that it's finished doing its bits and pieces, the next thing you'll see, you'll be asked to give it a host name. I'm just going to leave this as Kali and you click tab to get to continue and click enter for the next screen. Domain name, I'm just going to leave this blank, click tab and then enter at continue. Okay, so we're going to be asked for a root password. So type in a root password that you can use. And again, click tab to click continue. Okay, so you need to re-enter it just to confirm that it's, it matches and click continue. Okay, so you can see now that that's been accepted. And again, it's going to run through some stuff that it has to do here. So I will pause this video again. Okay, we're back here. I am just going to use the entire disk, click enter. It's okay to click enter on this as well, that's the disk we created. I'm going to again leave it at the default and select all files. And I'm going to then click enter again for finish partition and write changes to disk. Okay, and we're going to say yes on this. And now Kali will do a few stuff few bits and pieces on the disk so I will pause it and let it step through what it needs to do. Okay so the next screen that you will see will be a question saying it can go to the internet and download extra software that may not be available on the CD-ROM. So I am going to click yes to this and I have no proxy here so I'm just going to tab and click continue and this will now go out and search for software on the internet. So while this is doing this, I'll just pause the video again. Okay, so the next screen that we'll see will be one that is prompting us to install the Grub bootloader on a hard disk. Again, we're gonna click yes on this here, and we're gonna select dev SDA and click enter. 
Okay, again, this will now continue installing, so I'll pause the video again. Okay, so hopefully now you should be seeing this video too that states that the installation is complete. If for some reason you don't or you get any error, pop the error in the comments below and I can assist if I can. So I'm just going to click enter to click continue here and it's just going to finish up the install here. So I don't think this will take too long but I'll just pause the video again here. Okay, so now we can see the install has finished finished and I've been prompted to log in so hopefully you should see the same as this so I'm going to log in as root I'm going to type in the password that we set a few minutes ago and hopefully we should just log in now to Kali Linux okay and there we are we are logged in and you can see we've installed Kali Linux on VMware Workstation. If you encounter any problems on the install, be sure to pop them in the comments below. And if I can answer, I certainly will. Thanks for watching.